Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the recap. Today is the Wednesday 22nd. So overall market today was choppy again. Not a look not a good not a lot of good follow throughs. So that's how it was in the small cap at least. So today I'm actually finishing the day here. Uh, let's see uh, if I go here. $68 red, right? As you guys been noticing, my losses, I try to keep them minimized as possible. Um, lately, my losses have been around $60, $70, but my max daily loss I try to stick for is 100 bucks. If I'm $100 down, I I won't take any trades unless it's a very good A-plus setup, then I will. Otherwise, I will, you know, stop around there. Um because as you, as you can see, my winners are usually in the two, three hundreds or even four hundreds sometimes, right? So keeping my losses less than a hundred dollars, that will always keep me uh, in, in, in the green for the long, uh, for the long term, right? So let's go over the stocks that I was watching today, right? So today I was actually watching TAT, MXC I wasn't watching, it was too expensive. TAT, SNDE, OBLG, SPI. SPI was very whippy. Um, it it moves really really fast. O G E N M C E P, uh, B N G O. Um, uh, as you can see, there's few energy stocks today, so that seems to be hot today. But um, yeah. Either way, if I open up my you know my Twitter channel, I'll show you the watch list there that I posted. It's actually here, right? T A T S N D E O B L G. You know, and then some for maybe that I might take. Right, so. All right, so let's go over my trades. Uh, as you can see, I'm down today $68 if you look down here where my mouse is. And, uh, you know, let me show you the most valuable ones, right? So, um, HTZ, well, actually, let me show you. Yeah, let's go over BNGO first, right? Uh, BNGO, I, I took a trade right before the recap, um, which was, you know, it didn't work out. Um, it was for the break of this i was looking for a break of like 95 96 but that didn't happen um but the best entry would have been around you know this area around uh, 95 here around this area for the pop up to a dollar here um but yeah so i i was right on that trade um and then let me go back and see i traded ogen sp let's go with tat right tat if we go here um, I was lost some money. I think I had, uh, let me go back here and let's go back to my orders. So if we go back down to TAT, I bought at 77, sold at 73, uh, and then bought some 58, 60. Yeah, so I guess I made a couple cents on uh, when I got in at 58 which is around, probably around this area, I'm guessing. Yeah, for the break of this point right here. And I had sold too early, uh, just because when I saw this wick and it flushed down, so I got that's where I got out. Um, so I thought, you know, this was gonna get rejected, right? But obviously it went higher, right? So, but it's better to be safe and get out. Um, and that's what I did. And then I went in, a, obviously I went in, in again afterwards, uh, which was at, Let's see, 77, and then obviously I lost some there. And I think this was for around this area for the break of, uh, um, let's see. Yeah, it was around this area right here, like 79, 78. Uh, I was expecting for it to shoot up, but this wasn't really a clean setup. The reason why I liked it is because of this big green volume. So, um, but it didn't work out. It's all good. So gave some money away there. And then uh, HTZ or Genus was the other one I want to show you first. I mean, this stock was just shorted like crazy today. I was looking for a pop-up uh, from the uh, VVAP area right here, but that didn't happen. Um, there was a lot of sellers just getting stacked up over and over and over, so that failed. Um, so if we go back around HTZ 187, 186, buy and sell, no, sorry, 210, 213, yep, that was this area right here, right here, 211, 212, so that didn't really work out, um, let's see, what else, 
O G E N. Uh, let's see. O G E N. Let's see what happened there. Yeah, that's why today was not a lot of good follow through. So not good charts today either. O G E N. I think I tried to do it right to green move. So I got in at 195, sold at 203 and 202. So it should be around, I think, this area, right? Yep, I got in right here, anticipating for the move for right to green. And that's what happened. I sold around 203. Again, I was seeing some weakness, so that's why I sold a little bit early. Um, so, but, you know, made some money from there. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, SPI, you know, there's not really nothing sh to show there. Um, not good charting so i want to show you good examples on uh, where my entries are um htz also had a lot of resistance at 185 186 let's see htz which was around this area i believe yeah so i was trying to get in i think for the break of a high of day but that didn't happen and then i got in again actually in HTZ, I think which was around uh, 170, maybe, did I? I think it was, let's see, let's go back to HTZ. HTZ, I got in. Let's see. HTZ, 170. Yeah, I got in 170, and it sold at 173, so I think this was around this area right here. Uh... Think it was around this area right here 170 here and then sold for a few cents obviously you know it came back down after so like i said today was not a lot of good follow through and uh yeah hopefully tomorrow is better other than that hopefully you guys are green and i will see you guys tomorrow